another episode of Style and City Diaries. Brought to you by your favourite and fabulous cousins, Prinny Ray. And Anne Below. Yes! yes! <laughs> you have to subscribe to the podcast now. You have to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Just two seconds. No, you're always watching. You just, you're happy. Press that little bell. Yeah, uh, if notifications. You to, yeah, if you have to log in, log in. For, is it the bell for the yeah. subscribe these days? No, you press subscribe, then you put the bell for the notification right. of the episode. And then smash the like button and then drop a comment. Yeah, what Love. she said. Love ya. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe it. We, we are... <laughs> Excited to announce that we are part of Spotlight. Which is a project highlighting creators by Apple Podcasts. We're the podcast of the month on <laughs> Apple are. Podcasts. So when you go into the little app and you go on to browse, you see our faces. Your little favourite cousin. So, of course, every week we will be continuing to update you on the latest fashion news. Pop culture. And, of course, we will be... Deep diving into our personal lives. I mean, what's a podcast without a bit of juicy tea, huh? <laughs> oh my God. I guess the Apple Podcast team want you to spend more time with us. They do. They said, this is a podcast we want you to listen to. This is a podcast we want you to share with your friends, your family, your co-workers, your cousins. Your ops. Your ops. <laughs> Put your ops onto things. So if you are a new listener, welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. We're so happy to welcome you to the family cookout. <laughs> and if you're a kitty bob cousin, you already know what to do. Just get a drink. Let's go. <laughs> right. Before you or before we continue. Yeah. Yes. If you can take two seconds to rate and review this podcast, we would deeply appreciate it. Yeah, it makes such a difference. It does indeed. It really does. Um, I want to get a bit sentimental. Oh, go on. Because you know what? Uh, in this relationship, you know, someone's got to be the romantic <laughs> one. And, uh, you know, if I sit around and wait for this, I'm joking. We... We have to take it all the way back. Oh. We don't celebrate often. We don't. And... This is a big deal. I think like even when we posted it, it's like, oh, like doing my duties, like posting my content. Yeah. But like, no, 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 no. Like on the Apple Podcast International app, where it, it's us, <laughs> spotlighted. <laughs> like, this is not Apple, Apple, like Steve Jobs and them man there. Like, like they basically know who we are. Like, quite literally. <laughs> like, we're not just like some podcasts in like the, the podcast world and like the universe. Like we're there. Everyone yeah. knows us now. So um, for anyone that's been rocking with us since we were called Her Star Secrets, <laughs> gag, that was ages ago. When we first started recording the podcast, what did we always have? Oh my don't god. Don't ask me questions like that. Of course, I don't even quiz. remember what happened I've yesterday. Got a treat for you. Oh my god. <laughs> This is a throwback. We got the upgraded packaging of the MS Passion Fruit Martini cocktail. Oh. And we're only doing you. one because we're calorie watching and we're not getting lit. We're being healthy. Yeah. This is really yeah. emotional. It is a little bit. I mean, <laughs> are we gonna actually cheers our martini we moment? Can cheers our martini. martini moment. Honestly, if you are like a day one listener, you'll know that we we never did an episode without a passion fruit martini. It was like always the thing, and we wouldn't have any other drink. No, it was a vibe. And then I think we started upgrading to like hard liquor. That was a that really was we weird time. Have done that. <laughs> that was... We were like getting crunk every week. Yeah, it was giving depression with a capital D. <laughs> No, it was like, tell me you're running away from like feeling reality without telling me because why are you drinking Captain Morgan's on a Tuesday? That is so bizarre. But like more than one. And like <laughs> we would have like two and then we would have like one after and things like that. And it was oh, just God, like, that's, that's, already that's spilling what on we were doing. Very, very throwback bizarre vibes. But yeah. no, like this really does call for a celebration. I'm very glad you got these. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, biggest. Cheers, biggest. Take a little sip. And also, because we're going to do, we're going to get into it later, Brit Awards red carpet. Yes. I love a little lubricated yeah, red carpet Yeah, because then review. we're like just ourselves. You know what I mean? I'm not sure. I'm not thinking that someone's going to beat me up in Shoreditch House when they see me. Like, why do you say that about my outfit? No, because I can say that. Because guess what? I'm an Apple spotlight. What? <laughs> they know what was coming and they wanted us to be spotlighted. So people Quite could literally. hear. Yeah, we got to free up the realness for the people, Dem. Um, so yeah, the girls are happy. The girls are giddy. And, oh my God, okay. 
This was a shower thought. I feel like I have so many notes. Sorry. Oh, what is going on? Sorry, I've I've not my head's not been in it. No, I feel no, like no, I've it's been fine. so busy. I've just been like I feel like we moving. both we take turns. Like sometimes yeah. last week you were on, I was kinda not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This week I'm on. Um so obviously we announced it on like all the socials, Insta, so much love. Oh my God, could have cried. It was even we embarrassing. We was like, what the hell? I was hell? like, too like, shy, too these shy. These people actually look at what we yeah. do? Like it's like followers that like, is like, bitch, I didn't even know you were still following me. Like, what are you doing in the con? Like, Ariana, no, what, what are, are you doing, doing here? here? Um, and then we tweeted it as well on our little Twitter, Style City Diaries. And I really- We need to stop saying things like our little- it's big. What the Twitter? Like on our big Twitter. Oh yeah, yeah, big, big Twitter, not a little one. And um, <laughs> I really want to shout out this individual because there was a moment when we first started doing the podcast where we just felt like we were talking to no one because <laughs> it, was like, it was like no tweets, no engagement. Yeah. It's like is anyone listening? And at Loza's thoughts. She was the first person to ever tweet about. She was. That obviously that's not like among our friends to yeah. tweet about the pot. And I was like, oh. I was like, what? Someone, someone someone, someone's us. enjoying. And I want to read out what she um, quote tweeted our celebration post. She said, you ladies have been grinding so hard and been intentional with your goals. It's all coming together. Don't forget us when you blow even bigger. Oh, never. And it just made me think that I know every time we come on the podcast, especially this year, sometimes I'm like, oh, are people bored of us being like 12 week here, 12 week here? Yeah. But I do feel like it serves as like such an inspiration. We have been intentional. We have said, look, like we're going hard to go. We're going home. Like we're standing on it. We're doing it. Yeah. And already in March, the first week of March, we are reaping so many rewards from the seeds we've sown and the sacrifices we've made in this yeah. short space of time. And I hope that we can continue to inspire you all and like bring you on the journey with us because this is our style and city diary. Like it this is. is the diary of the journey to whatever. whatever. Like, yes, <laughs> in store for us. Like, whatever. And I think as well, I think what's nice is like, we've always been so honest about this journey. Mm. We've always been so honest about like where we're at, like where we feel like we should be, even if we're not there yet and stuff. Like we've never come on here and tried to be something we're not or try to make the podcast seem like something it's not. Mm. And when I reposted the the our post yesterday about the spotlight, I said like, it's not about the numbers, mm. it's about the right people noticing you and seeing the hard work that you put mm. in because when they see that you put that work in it doesn't matter how many numbers yeah. you have they will be able to see talent and and like the fact that you're putting so much into something giving you an opportunity that like is well deserved mm. and this is like so tooting our horn but it's fucking well deserved like we deserve to be apple podcast spotlight yeah. this month like we really, really do. We come here week after week for however many years, whether we're sad, we're happy, mm. we're tired, we're this, we're that, we come. I was gonna say put on a show, but it's not a show. We just come, we open ourselves up to you guys. You know so much about us and- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, want, I need to go and redact some yeah, of that, like too much. Like, but it's <laughs> like, and I'm so happy that like, it's been noticed mm. and I feel like things are happening when they're supposed to yeah. happen. And yeah, this is so well deserved and I'm so proud of us. And I feel like we should be screaming it from yeah. the rooftops. Like, mate, sorry, I was in work. I was like, sorry, can I just tell you all that? Like, <laughs> do you Love know you. who I am? Like, do you, <laughs> no, do do you, you. know who your work your colleague phone. is? Get on your phone now. Like I had someone from my uni message me like, oh my God, I just went onto my podcast and saw your face there. Like you're smashing it. And I was like, yes, bitch. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> like thank you, but like, like, I, I know I yeah, am. Like I we am. are, and it's just like I just feel so proud, mm. and I just think, yeah, <laughs> I just feel yeah. really happy about so it. So happy, and it's International Women's Day slash month, and it's just, it's just perfect. It just, it just sat so perfectly mm. for us, and uh, and I think oh, I did cut, I'm, I can't talk, but. It's like, um, basically there's been loads of uh, features about International Women's Day mm. and Women's History Month saying like, women have been sold a dream and- uh, What, is that the theme for this year? <laughs> yeah, essentially women have been sold oh, a dream and you know, 
people aren't really caring about it anymore. Like there's less and less features going mm-hmm. up. There's less and less panel talks and like female founders and this yeah. and that and da, da, da. people are saying, yeah, like this whole like, yeah, I'm a boss bitch. Like I'm going to smash through that glass ceiling. Like, no, it's fake. Oh, you know, women can achieve anything. Oh, it's fake. Is this and that. And I just feel like we're a testament to like, no, put your head down and like shit gets done. Mm. If you really want it bad. I'm not sitting here and I'm going to say that every single female is going to smash through that glass ceiling yeah. because let's be honest it's a man's world but when you stay in your lane and you concentrate on what you want to do you really can achieve things and that this isn't even just for women i think this is just for, People, for everyone yeah. in general like you really can do what you want to do and be who you want to be and sometimes you don't need to do it in like such a large scale like when we sit back and think about it we're really living our dream <laughs> like we are like we have a stunning podcast. It has won an award. We're Apple's, but like, we're living our dream, mm. whether it's in the in the way that we maybe imagined it or not. We're within the dream right yeah, now. Like yeah. when I'm older, I can look back and be like, oh my God, I did this and I did that and just be really proud of myself. Mm-hmm. Like regardless of where I had 50,000 billion people listening or not. Mm, mm, mm. So that's just what I wanted to say. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. 100% and heavy on the put your head down face front and just tunnel vision sometimes when we look at and we're all guilty of it right whatever field you're in or whatever it is you're doing you'll look at your peers you'll see their win and you immediately disregard everything you've achieved because you're like wow i can't believe they got that i want it even you didn't yeah. even want it yeah More you didn't time, even know you didn't it even was know. yeah you didn't even know it was an opportunity you didn't even know and now you've like discounted everything that you've done when actually you should just put your head down and focus on what do i want to achieve what do i want for myself and Whilst you're doing that, I feel like there's some kind of like magnetic force or something that radiates that it all attracts. Like, I didn't even know about Apple Podcast Spotlight, if I'm being honest. That wasn't on my 12 week year goal (laughs) at all. That wasn't part of it. It it wasn't. Do you know what I mean? But it's everything else that we've been doing put us in a position to attract that opportunity and everything, just like you said, happens at the time it's supposed to happen. If we had peaked years ago, we might not have a podcast anymore, babe. No. Like, you know, and I'm not trying to even put like negativity, but you don't know. We could have been like, oh, God, smashed it. That was sick. We had a great two years. Now on to the next thing. When actually, no, like this podcast serves a purpose, regardless of whether we have um, crazy numbers or regardless of whether we're making a million bucks and touring the US or whatever the case may be. Like someone could be having a really shit week and is just holding on waiting for Thursday. And like that makes me feel so good. <laughs> but like me and my silly self and like, your silly self, yeah. you know, is like the reason to put a smile on someone's face. So I guess we say all that to say, just like keep going. And like even the days when you don't want to do it is the days where you have to go mm. harder. And I know it's so cliche yeah. coming from me as well, because <laughs> listen, y'all know I stay lazy. Like when there's things I don't want to do enough time, I make excuses to print and I don't want to do it. But really this year, those days where I really want to do shit, I got the shit done. Yeah, and I want to, again, piggy, Miss Piggy back over here. <laughs> I actually want to give you, you're doing amazing. Oh, thanks. You're doing amazing this year. Um, and it's not, and I hope that doesn't come across like patronizing, obviously, if you're an OG <laughs> listener. <laughs> you know that, uh, you know, like, she's me, like, I want to do this, this, this. And then it's like, oh, CBH, you know what I mean? And you did say that you're not really doing many personal goals, but you're really going to put your all into... Um, the things that we've got going on and you and I we both left our ass in the studio and the album at the end of the year is going to be absolutely <laughs> amazing I gave it my all I feel like Beyonce I feel like Beyonce <laughs> like, I still don't know how many how she does it like no. and do you know what else I feel like sorry that was another conversation we had at work today as well about the whole like you have the same hours same 24 mm. hours as Beyonce that's the whole thing about oh okay it. Like, it will be in a lie which that is a lie is that I know we we are smashing this like without any help, yeah, <laughs> fully on our ones, yeah. managing. You know, she's looking after her home essentially. <laughs> like, yeah, you're My a home owner, are all looking, dead. A, looking after her home. You know, I'm living at home with my family. You know, we're we're trying to juggle social life, family life, doing this, going to work, this and that. And it's just like, 
it's a lot. Mm. It's fucking a lot. I'm not going to sit here and say it's easy. Yeah. Like, you guys just see the output, but the input is like, oh my God, some days I'm really like, I actually do I care that much. <laughs> but it's moments like this where it's like, no, you do care. Yeah. And just keep just keep going you basically keep pushing. those days when you want to give up is the days the email comes in and you say yeah. oh shit bet. it's like that meme the guy that he's chiseling away he's yeah. chiseling away he's chiseling away and he's like oh fuck it and the diamonds are right there. there like that's literally it you just have to be consistent in whatever consistency looks like to you. Consistency might be doing something once a week. Consistency might be doing it every day. Consistency might be doing it once a month, once a foot, whatever the case may be. But whatever you set your mind at doing, be consistent at it. Yeah. Um, be consistent. I mean, we have missed maybe a couple of weeks. I think in the four years, we probably missed like three weeks and most of them are due to having COVID. Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, give me a break. Yeah. Like, I'm actually... Yeah, trigger warning, dying. Yeah, but yeah. Um, we've done a thing. Yeah, we we've done a thing, and um, thank you, thank you as well. Like you've huge done a thing. Thank you because obviously there's no podcast without listeners. So thank you mm. to and all those people that like always support us, including our friends as well. Like it never goes unseen. Like I always notice the friends that are like friends, family, and like mm. distant friends, acquaintances that are always like showing up for you when you don't ask them to and mm. like doing things like sharing and this and that, like those don't ever go unseen. Like I, I'm, listen, I'm a grudge babe, yeah? <laughs> if you, I'm a grudge babe. And it's not a, oh, you did this for me, so now I'm gonna do this for you, or I did this for you, mm. you didn't do like, It's not like that, but it's like a, I've got my list. So when the come up, comes up, 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 I'ma see who's, <laughs> yeah. But my point is like, we see everything yeah. and we appreciate it from like the Bottom souls of hearts, and bottoms yeah. of our heart. Like it honestly does mean the world. And it's obviously we bring everyone on, like this is our journey all together. Mm, all of us. Like what the hell are we gonna go without you lot? <laughs> do you know Period. what I mean? Like, you know, whatever we do, you guys are on it with us. And thank you so much. Gonna cry, not gonna cry. No, literally gonna cry. not, not gonna, gonna cry. cry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so that was a great intro. <laughs> <laughs> Very heartfelt. That was so, so much. Heartfelt. So much passion. That's enough affection for a while because yeah. we don't do affection. Really. Yeah, I was like, I feel like it was more like motivational speech. Yeah, motivational speech with a bit of like, love you, love you. Um, but yeah, how are you? Uh, uh yeah, but I'm, I'm all right. Like I'm, I'm on my um. Back to consistency. Yeah. You know, alarm set, 5.58. Oh, God, yeah, you're doing really well. You're like, mate, this <laughs> What? She's up early. She's on her Dean and like, we love it. We love it here. It's like, she's doing her job, but she's like, hi, good morning at 6 a.m. And I'm just like, and she's like, hopefully your your phone's on silent, which it always is. But I was thinking, fuck, you know. Bidding, 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 bidding. And another thing. Thing. I'm like, mm. I want to get it all out. Like, I'm gonna forget. Like doing <laughs> no, but like, yeah, well done. I mean, it's literally only my second day out here. Right. But I was, I was saying to Ray, Ray um, helps us set up the studio, and um, I was, I was like, oh yeah, yeah I'm on this, da, 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 da. and he's like, oh, like, what do you do when you wake up in the morning? And I was like, well, you know, like the first day I went to the gym, but I think it's not about doing something it's about being consistent because yeah. if i say oh i want to go to the gym three days a week so i'm only going to wake up early three days a week i'm not in a consistent routine yeah. so it's going to be easy for me to be like oh, yeah. i don't know you need to just be waking do you know up. what i mean so i think like monday to friday regardless of whatever the case may be i need to be off at six i yeah. need to be making myself useful and doing something and it feels so good monday yeah. i went to the gym by 8 30 i felt like i was better than everyone you do. and i felt like i could attack the world and i kind of did a little bit you do it's just when it gets to 8 30 p.m you want to crash yeah and then we got radio yeah <laughs> <laughs> and that you yeah. get thrown yeah. off because yeah. it's like on tuesday now you want me to wake up early again yeah done bro yeah the today, week's done. today it was peak but i actually had to because i was like i actually have a lot to do before i yeah. leave on that little laptop that's broken um so yeah so we're trying to be consistent gym Healthy eating. I've got um, you know, my fridge is stocked. Well done. Variety, variety well done. of foods and vegetables, and you know, I went to M and S. Oh yeah. After church on Sunday. Oh, yeah. oh. So that's going to be my shopping routine. Go yeah. to M and S. Get the best because you know some. It's fresher. A lot of yeah. the stuff is fresher, and, and the prices is, is not good. that expensive. I got all the um unripe avocados, two fifty, about yeah. seven of them. And just so. leave them there. Because why am I paying? 
almost two pounds for two. Yeah. When I can get seven. Yeah. And just leave them in the fridge and let them do their thing. Like, and then, do you and have then to you eat just, them all straight away? And then you just, what you do is, I guess you work on a cycle. So it's like, you know how many you've got, then you get the new batch to, and you know, recuperate going. and recuperate. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to find a flow of like my real adult life. I feel like the last couple of years of living alone, I've been like, I've been fucking around and cosplaying coasting. as like, not coasting, but like when I got my place, I think, it was my birthday, I was going to Mexico. Then it was all my friend's birthday. So everything is very much like, I'm here, I've got so much to do at home, but like my money is allocated or my mind yeah. is allocated elsewhere. Whereas now I have no holidays booked. I have nothing to look forward to. So I need to water my plants. I need to bring them back to life. I yeah. need to do my DIY. I need to have a structure of some sort of, and it feels kind of good. Good. So yeah, she's like in our structuring, structured era. Um, and yeah, continue into boss life with my work wife over here. And uh, so yeah, that's sounds so Don't ever oh say God, that don't again. Say that oh again. my God. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird. That why, why was, what that? the hell? Well, why do you want to be my work? Why don't you want to be my work wife? No, like we're work buddies, but it's like, buddies? why do you have to say wife? But like, why, why not? It just, it's getting too incestuous at this point. Like we're kissing, we're wifing, like it's too much for me. I just feel uncomfortable. <laughs> You're about to go HR, bitch. No I'm HR. Literally, I'm going to be like, ring, ring. Print, yeah, hi, pretty. Yeah, you're going to be like. <laughs> it's just what you're doing. I'm uncomfortable. Stop it. Report me to and me. And that's it. Yeah. And fix up. Stop being flirty with me. I'm not your work husband. <laughs> <laughs> I know you turn into a man. All right, work husband, work wife. Um, so yeah, that's me. Like, not much to report. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I am um, good. I feel like there's just a lot on with everything. Mm. Work's quite heavy at the moment. There's a lot of events and stuff. So like, my mind really is everywhere. Hence today, coming in in such a fluster. Mm. I was meant to do my makeup. I'm here because I was meant to be here early. Ah, okay, right, right. That happens. And then it's just, there's a lot, you know? So if you're watching on YouTube and you see that my left-hand side is rather pink <laughs> compared to my right, <laughs> I had a bit of a blush explosion and no time to fix it. But we're, we're working it. And this is what this pod's about. This is the real life, babe. No, show up <laughs> as your authentic self. Show up as your authentic, like, this is it. This is what you're getting. And it's okay. Uh, but yeah, I know. I'm just, whew. Yeah. That was that SpongeBob me. SpongeBob me. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot, but I'm happy. Um, oh my God, I haven't been sad all year. That's good. That's but you weren't that so sad good. last year. I think you you had a good run towards the latter end of the year. You haven't yeah, been yeah, sad yeah, since like yeah. last year, May. Yeah. But like, as in like, yeah, I haven't had any like downers or anything. Mm. I'm still up. I'm still enjoying my job. Good. Like, I'm, like things are like I just feel good, you know. I feel great. <laughs> Very convincing. Yeah, so <laughs> I feel great. I feel great. Um, no, but I do. Like, mm. just fucking hell, that thing is woo! a little bit. Yeah, I'm not hit me, mate. I had one of these the other day. I had the uh, margarita one. I was oh, on the tube, yeah. like whoa, mate. Cozy lives has hit this. Yeah, it fucking it's where it, is it like me or two sixty five or something? No, no, no. It's free pound something. Is it me or it used to be one pound something? It used to be like three for seven quid. So what's that? Didn't it used to be like one? Am I making or that up? Maybe like something. two, like two twenty five or yeah, something. Yeah, like, yeah, It used to be cheap as chips. Not no more. Not no more. Crazy. Yeah. I was very standing there. I was like, Do I get it or not? I was like, We don't even need fours. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was like, no. We don't. It's we overkill. Don't, don't. But then also, I was just like, It's a lot like. Yeah, it's expensive. in this life. You can't. You can't breathe. Oh. Anyway, sorry. I I jumped on your 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 update. Yeah, no, that's yeah, it. Good. That's the update. But this yeah. is, I'm feeling it. Woo! And you you had a first this weekend. <gasps> oh my, sorry. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. What the hell? Okay, so, um, I, so, you know, okay, let's take it all oh the way God. back. No, oh, I need to get No, 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 girl, I don't know how back you're taking it. 
So remember once upon a time on the pod when we was like, sometimes you need to just like do things for you. And I think I said I wanted to be like more independent or oh, whatever yeah, and stuff. If and I want to go, just go I by myself. Go, just go by myself. You know, we, we started off with like going concerts on our own. And it was like, yeah, like if you want to go to an event, like no one's going, just go. Like if you want to go on holiday, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go yeah. Concerts, going concerts and like cinema and theaters are like, yeah. absolutely fine on my own. Just you you don't have to socialize with anyone. You mm. just go. Um, and Prini took it a step further. She went out, out on her own, had a fabulous time, Multiple has done it a couple of times. Scary. Um, anyways, was invited to this event because our friend was DJing um, this weekend. Big deal at Ministry of Sound. It, huge, first sorry, of all. shout out really Razor, Razor Rare, really yeah. Rare Radio. He's got 10 Razor, names. No, literally, I think it's Razor. Razor, yeah. Razor. Um, he had his debut at Ministry of Sound, which was. Unreal. Yeah, it was so good. I felt like a proud, like, Her oh my mama. God. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Anyways, so me and Prini were invited to go. Then I get a text <laughs> at like two oh God. I get a text like two PM on Saturday, like, hey mama. <laughs> That's it was so really me. like that. <laughs> that was literally how I was Just uh, giving you like loads of hours heads up, but I think a little bit poorly. So if there's anyone you might want to take with you, like this is the time to invite them. <laughs> Just to let you know, like, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and I was like, you fucking bitch. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I know she, because she was out, and I was like, oh, I can't keep texting her. But I was like, hang on. Wait, are you actually coming or not? Or, because this sounds a bit like a maybe, like, I just need to know if I should mentally prepare myself to go alone or if I should just cancel because. But also, like, I can't swap your name out because it's too late. Like, did you say that? No, but we had to give our full government names. Ah, uh, uh, earlier, name okay, fine, earlier, fine, so fine. it was like a whole situation. And I, and then, and then she's like, "Yeah, like, look, like, I can come, but I'll be bad, bad company." And I'm just like, "That's a bit dead. <laughs> Don't really want you there. It's going to be fucking <laughs> shit if I'm honest." <laughs> but also, like, fucking ruin my holiday. Like, what the hell, like. I was really looking forward to going out with you. We were talking about it on the pod no, rage. Like we're week, having yeah. like, you know, bonding time, which she didn't think was bonding time, but I thought it was. Anyway, long story short, plucked up the courage and I just went on my own. And I had Amazing time. the best time of my life. Literally, I had such a good time. Um, Bless Razor and all his friends like took me under their wing and I made loads of friends as well. And it was like, got invited to afters, but I took my ass home and I took the tube home. Um, but no, I had a really, really good time. So it's the first time I went out, out on my own. Good. Yeah. Thanks. Good. Yeah, I would have been, I watched your story and I was like, Mate, that is a lot of sensory overload for me. <laughs> I woke up lot. on Saturday just feeling heavy. I just hadn't yeah. had a break since London Fashion Week because mm. the weekend I should have rested. I had a busy one, so it yeah. just caught up to me on Friday. And then I didn't. I didn't drink at brunch. Did you not? No. Oh. Like, and I think I, I didn't want to do like you know when you're like lying that you're sick, but you're overdoing it, doing yeah, it. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to be like, oh, by the way, like I'm oh, so yeah. sick. I'm Lovely not even drinking. drinking. Like, it's, yeah. it's not that deep. But I actually just had. Um, Water and then I had it upgraded to a ginger beer. Oh, nice. Um, sugar in you. Yeah, but it was like by the end of the brunch, I was like looking at people, but like my eyes, I'm You're gone. I was like, mm -mm, this is too much. And it's like, I can come, but I'm just going to look miserable. Like, respectfully, no, glad you, you didn't. You know, I like, can't you hide would, an emotion can't, in and my I, face. And then I would have felt not like a burden, but like. I feel like I'm you, a burden you to you. You wouldn't have let, I wouldn't have felt, you would have been like, go and do your thing and feel comfortable and been okay, like just chilling yeah. in the corner or something. But I would have felt like not comfortable doing that. And then it's uncomfortable, it's uncomfortable yeah, for yeah. everyone all around. But um, I'm, I'm glad, glad you had a good time. Better. Yeah, oh, no, thanks. I did. I had a really good time. Uh, Andre Powell was sick. Kira, sorry, but Kira is a fucking sick Love. DJ. Um, it was a great time. I have got stories. The dating, dating diaries. diaries. Okay, so if you don't know what Dating Diaries is, it's our extra subscription. Uh, and you pay three pounds a month and you find out about our dating lives. We did used to speak about our dating lives free on the podcast, but then we started getting yam up by the men that we were talking about. And we thought, you know what, this is like, we're, we're happy to like be open, but it has to be behind a paywall because we need to see who is entering that paywall. <laughs> no, there is nothing more scary than you start talking to a guy. They're like, 
oh my god like your recent podcast episode I, I no, i'm what? like wait what do you, wait, what? you didn't you what? didn't ask permission yeah that as well oh my god like <laughs> you get didn't away. Ask this me. is my diary it's my diary like i wouldn't go into your diary but without I'm, you asking i love that you're trying to support me but stop it this is one right thing, now this is one thing i don't want you to support me on <laughs> i don't need your listens i don't need your subscriptions i don't need your anything don't listen to this this is mine and mine only how am i meant to support you you don't because how dare you ruin my day by telling me I have a nice voice. No, <laughs> I know. I know. Get off the podcast. But, um, yeah, so on dating, I bumped into two past bays. One past, one current. One past, one current. Ish. Ish. And that's all I'm going to say. And I'm going to explain it all. And there's 2.5 more stories as well. Is there? Mm, developments. Of me or you? Workplace breaches. <laughs> someone's calling HR <laughs> yeah. okay this I'm just gonna say on the podcast okay go I have an issue <laughs> I have a big problem and I don't know who to talk to about it but this talk to us it's a safe space talk this to us this is a huge problem yeah and my problem is I categorically cannot stop myself from flirting it's like, a good it's a good problem my to have my genuine default is to flirt but i always have to take it to the next level now you think i'm in love with you but i'm just having a great time Mm -hmm. and i can't stop flirting and i'm putting getting myself i don't know yet but in like potentially naughty situations but i just flirt with everyone like i just cannot help it like it's just my natural, like I open my mouth and I'm flirting with you. Mm. Like I'm giving you the eye and I'm saying things that I shouldn't be saying. Not because I mean it, but it's because this is fun. Like why wouldn't I, like no, I have a flirting I don't, issue. I don't think it's bad though. I think it's good to have that ability because some people don't yeah. know how to flirt and find it difficult. But there's time and a place. <laughs> there's a time and a place and there's certain people that you shouldn't, yeah. shouldn't, you know, that don't, don't ruin friendships. Basically, yeah. Because... You can't stop yourself from having a, ch- a cheeky Cause conversation. Because you're in a silly, goofy mood. Because I'm always in a silly, goofy mood. You're so funny. So bizarre. But yeah, I've got a huge flirting problem, which I'll talk about in dating, in dating diaries. Wow, I'm, oh glad, Lord. I'm glad you had a great time. I'm glad you had a great time. I did. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that happened recently that's... Any more highlights in our lives? What's your martini moment? <gasps> oh my god! <clears throat> oh, we have a joint. With that, do we not have a joint martini? Moment? No, I feel like it's implied. It's so implied. Yeah, that's add another one. Who you mind? Oh yeah, so mine is I went out on my own. Oh yeah, okay. That's my yeah. martini moment. I'm trying to think. Fuck shit balls. What's mine? Wait, do I have a better one than that? Um, mm. what am I actually happy about this year? No, this is not this year. This week. <gasps> Go. No, no, no. What? No, <laughs> no, it's, no, no, it's not good. It's not good. I'm just being dramatic. Like, oh, oh, dramatic. Oh. No. Oh, you're not going to say it? No, it's, it's like it could be a joint one. Like yesterday at radio, when we just like took the reins and was like, oh, yeah. Did damage control. Mate. How did. <laughs> <laughs> Our show was so hot. We blew, blew we the fuse. We blew the fuse in the radio room and shut down yeah. the whole of Represent Radio live. <laughs> No, no. No, like, as in, like, dead air. There was dead no. <laughs> no, like, Only us. Only but, us. you know, I'm actually really proud of us because I feel like, and this goes back to what you said about everything happens at the right time, right? And there are some things, one day we're going to write a memoir and you'll hear all the BTS dramas of, like, everything that went wrong on this journey, but we still showed up smiling, right? <laughs> but I feel like all the L's that we've taken prepare us to be so resilient and so unfazed by things. Yeah. Because meltdown, where? Confusion, where? We're just like, all right, okay. we'll switch lights on. All right, no, cool. all just right, wait we'll, for things to start. All right, well, oh, what, we'll just oh, jump on the decks, cool. Yeah, the thing's not working, okay. Where's the USB? Right, plug it in, play a song. Right, it's like so mi- calmly. No, mm. you know, no wag, no nothing. Just finish the show. We could have gone home. No. <laughs> No, the point is, we could. Oh, we, oh no, it's got me. No, because <laughs> I wanted to. But we we're finishers. We're home. finishers. We're professionals, and we just do our job. Like, what's the job? Tell me. All right, cool. Do Heavy it. Heavy on the professionals. Sorry, another thing. Whilst we're on this whole industry thing, I feel like this is very industry oh, heavy. A lot of people in the industry need to go and do a corporate job because oh, they no. are not professional. Oh, yes. They have no email <laughs> etiquette. 
They have no sense of professionalism <laughs> whatsoever. It's no. It's a lot. That's a real pandemic. Yeah. I I do I do feel like and I'm not I'm not trying to be like we're like the pinnacles of success in the creative industry, but I do feel like to establish yourself and seek to have a career that has longevity and has legs and is well respected you should probably maybe like hold an actual proper job yeah (laughs) just so you can at least like because like you said we do a lot of these things ourselves so us being spotlight on apple we are liaising directly with with apple Apple. like there's no like there's no middle man middleman because we are able to jump on a call discuss like yeah how i am on the podcast like whoa pretty right yeah no when i'm in a meeting it's where's my glasses where's right my Where, like where's my notebook <laughs> right can we just refer back to point one um right so the deliverables um, yeah. so, so can we actually just push back that date look like we are aware of how to <clears throat> conduct ourselves in yeah. that way and we show up on time oh, we're early prepared professional you know we're always overdoing it, actually, yeah, to be fair. Whatever the brief is, understood. <laughs> Mission understood. We come, we deliver, we leave. We make sure everyone's happy. Yeah. We do our job. And that is what success is all about, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No. I'm going to write a book on success. We what the fuck? deserve to have this episode just dedicated to tooting our own horns because yeah. we don't do it enough. Well, Hannah called me on the day we posted the podcast, my best friend Hannah, I say her name and her, anyway. And she was like, nah, man, you need to take a minute and actually yeah. like give yourselves accolades. Like you lot work hard. She was like, you lot are them kids that are in school and everyone's laughing and you're doing ha ha ha, but you're going home to do your homework <laughs> and you're even doing work for extra credit. Because when you see, like, when you see us out, yeah, activity. when you see us around, it's like, whoa, like good time girls, like bitch, do you know what time I woke up today? Like we make it look fun and we post all the memes and we post all this stuff, but there's a lot of like grind and hustle that goes on behind the scenes that isn't seen until it's seen. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And yeah, we need to, sorry, just, you know these drinks come with burps. <laughs> we need... <laughs> Remember no. that episode? Were you a bad burping? No, I'm like, yeah, no, <laughs> literally. No, but we need to like, yeah, just to like, it's... we're just, yeah what what I had a baby oh oh my god i completely forgot she was pregnant Isaiah. oh that's so cute oh, okay well sorry sorry, sorry someone just had a baby, baby really close friend to us uh yeah no listen a lot of hard work goes on yeah. behind closed doors and i also want to <laughs> and another thing and another thing Right. I don't want to make this the Amber show, but... Oh, God. I struggle a lot, okay? (laughs) I didn't think it was going there, okay. But I do. Uh, If you don't know, I do have undiagnosed ADHD. I'm currently on the waiting list to get it diagnosed. Might take another four years. But I struggle a lot. I struggle to juggle things. I struggle to remember a lot of things. Um... Those are the key things that I struggle with, I would say. And the remembering, which is which is really important in what we do. But I do, I struggle a lot and I feel like I'm really proud of myself for being able to like push through it and not let it get me down mm. like it used to. And I feel like I did make such an effort to be like, I'm actually just gonna like do my job because every year I come along, I'm like, I wanna be more disciplined. I wanna do this, I wanna do that. But I'm actually for the first time in my life actually just doing it. Like my, my room's a tip because I can only do one thing at one time, but. <laughs> It's fine. But, you know, this is going really well. Mm. So I just feel like the room's going to have yeah. to stay a tip because I can't do it all. But I'm really proud yeah. that, you know. And basically, the reason I said that is if you're a struggling person, I get it. And if I can get <laughs> shit done, trust me, mm. trust me, you can too, man. Honestly. Can I add a cherry on top of your proud moment? Go on. You really don't moan as much anymore. <laughs> No, she, cause she can, but she fucking hell, like she's actually, and it's funny because out of the two of us, I would think that you're more like on paper, seemingly the more optimistic one. 
<laughs> but fuck me, you could. Oh, I don't want to. I don't like that. I'm just, oh, it's just too hard. <laughs> yeah, because if I can't like, get it, I'm like, not doing it. Not yeah, doing you're it. like, not doing it. I don't like it. Blah, 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 blah. But you really haven't. Like, I, all year, <laughs> I don't think. You've been quite cool. Been yeah, chill. there's not been a. No, you thanks, man. You're doing amazing. I was sweetie. really difficult to work with last year and the year before. No, I I wouldn't put it down to you being difficult. I feel like we both need to understand each other and meet each other where we, we are. We found a way of working that actually works for us yeah. both. Like, Prenny was like, do you want me to do the weeks every week? And it, I could have said no when really I knew I needed it. And I mm. thought, yes, I need it every week. Yeah. Like, I need to know what I need to do every week. Like, And we put things in place. It's actually... It's taken us four years to learn <laughs> how to work together. <laughs> how to work together effectively. And I think that is like the number one major key alert. Yeah. yeah. Knowing how you work. Mm. And sometimes it takes four years to figure that yeah. out. Because even I only just recently learned in like my last job how I need to work yeah. to get shit done. And then when I apply that to my normal personal life, I'm like, oh my God, this mm. is so amazing. Mm hmm. It's great. Do you not say funny? Mm. So I've still got like my gym stuff in my calendar, like on a Monday, Wednesday, whatever, whatever oh, on yeah. my calendar. And my work colleague's like, oh, but you're so good. Cause like, you know, you're always going to the gym. And I'm like, bitch, I ain't been to the gym in like six weeks. It's just weeks. a placeholder. It's just a placeholder in my calendar. In the morning. I can't. That is, so I love that. But yeah, so that's I've what still I'm got saying. stuff like post this to YouTube and don't get posted. <laughs> yeah, I've got like a post Instagram or something. I've stupid. got gym, and then I come home, and then it was like between nine and nine thirty, do printing X Amber emails, and then on the lunchtime on like a Thursday, is that like do printing X Amber email. Listen, that gets done when it gets done. Yeah, not yeah. when it what the calendar says. But when you find a way of working, yeah. it really does just and it's, come together. Yeah, and it's all it's also fine though, as much as we're like promoting like get it done and get it done it's also fine if you don't get everything done as long as you're moving towards your goal yeah. in what do you know what i mean like you might have weeks where it's like a slow week in your designated task but actually that's because your something new came up that is um part of that and i just want to add and another thing and another thing i really really want to give us kudos for wearing many hats <laughs> Because that, no, it's like, yeah. it's not, it's not actually um, the doing of stuff. It's the code switching. And it's minor code switching because I'm they Prinny kind of, yeah. and she's Amber. Prinny, Amber, Stein City Diaries, Prinny, X Amber. We're the same people. Yeah. But you, it's, there's a lot going on. It's different. There's a, like, we. We, we have about 10 emails. <laughs> <laughs> and accounts and, and accounts this is and going things, live yeah. that's going live we've got a guest mix from a sick dj from paris we've got someone coming in from new york to interview on radio and that's all amazing but that's happening there and I everything's to... happening at the same time yeah basically yeah period we're juggling we're juggling yeah i just sorry i don't want to sit here and be like we're so great we get shit done like no. there were days where we fucking just don't no we skipped on our weekly tasks we skipped week six and seven and yeah. went straight to week eight from week five and that happens <laughs> he's gonna beat me not y'all not y'all we won't even beat each other it's no, what it is because we're just, just in sync and we understand what um, it is what it is but yeah say all that to say like so excited for the journey ahead it has been realer than real so far and i'm just excited live show april 21st i'm gonna say this Right, because I feel like sometimes we have to speak to you in English, plain English, no dressing it up, no dancing it. There are eight tickets left. Eight, okay? Payday just came. If you're waiting for the March pay, it's not, it's tickets gone, okay? Yeah. So if that's you and you're saying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, when it's gone, I don't know what's that mean don't don't please don't beg what's don't that? cry don't, don't beg cry, don't like i'm because i feel like sometimes you just have to what we say because maybe they think we're like oh they're just joking, joking. No, no no it's finished it's done and we we've given listen you know sometimes <laughs> billion works with you guys sorry if you're new to the show we're only joking but billion works with you guys we gave the save the date we gave ample yeah. time yeah yeah there's been two paydays now 
Yeah, no, literally. The rest is with God. There's nothing yeah. more that we can do. You I know, try my best. On all the copy, their links are there, it's there, it's here, it's everywhere. Everybody knows. If you're waiting for your friend, sometimes left fam. <laughs> by yourself you'll make a friend mm. if you can't make a friend there guess who's your friend i'm your friend your friends, right if if you're gonna do something on your own for the first time it's to come to this show Period. this is the best place to practice what yeah. we are preaching yeah leave the friend they don't know what's good for them come for sure come on your ones for sure not me speaking i oh, no, no, that was that good, good. You know what? I didn't want to like um, embarrass me. No, I didn't want to react because it's like it that's your like that's your thing. That's your thing. But... That's my thing. <laughs> that just came to say naturally. To me I love well. no. I love that. <laughs> You're Ooh. like oh. I'm like not the salon TT. I'm done. Right. <laughs> right. Um, there's a Brit Awards. Yes. Woo! Over the weekend. And wow, it's been a long yeah, time since yeah. we've done a red carpet <clears> review <throat> on the podcast. So. Yeah. That's what we have to do today. I have um, some shade to throw. Oh, yeah, baby. And it's blanket shade to all the mainstream British media outlets. I am so, so, so disappointed in you for the coverage of the red carpet looks. And... I have to hold our darling to the fire. Vogue. Shit. Sorry. Vogue. Right. Edward the... left it, they no, said. No, no. But that I just I, I want everyone to really understand what's going on right here. Brit Awards. Brit Awards. British Music Awards. Brits. We're in Britain. Brits, right? That is equivalent to the <laughs> Take Grammys. A shot every time she says no, no, no. It's equivalent to the Grammys, yeah. right? When we have the Grammys. I can't even stop scrolling. Yeah. Looks on, looks on, looks. We're getting all like 90, 90 to 100 looks. Yeah. Okay. R- like roughly how many people do you think were at the Brits? Celebrities? In the hundreds? Hundreds? Yeah. Hundreds. Yeah, because there's the ones that we obviously don't yeah, know either. Yeah. Right. So Vogue.co.uk, UK, Brits, Britain is in the UK. Vogue.co.uk had the cheek and the audacity to post up 14 looks for the Brits. That is disgusting. 14. How are we meant to no. do our job? <laughs> no. Right? Because I was out shaking ass on Saturday night. No. I didn't have time to look. How are we meant to do our But not even just how we meant to do our jobs. This is your home turf. Yeah. This is your opportunity to shine a light on the fashions of the movers and shakers and celebrities in the industry that are attending the Brit Awards. And you gave us 14 people, including... Oh, Dua Lipa. Oh, I'm always going to have Dua Lipa. Kylie Minogue. Two or four men at max as well. Yeah. And so, you've got like America. Eve is on there. She's American. Love her. It's because she lives in London. No, love her. But 14. Mm-mm. I know it was on a Saturday. I know, you know, we all had heavy weekend girls in the press office. I know. But you've got to do better at maybe just, maybe it's because they don't know who people are. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Here's a salute. Hire us. I, we'll go. It, we'll write. We'll find. It's bad. It Already really Brits being on a Saturday is sad. It's a sad state of events, affairs. Why do they do I that? I don't. They're making it what, worse. Isn't it because the Brit school children go, so it's like do it on a Saturday. Like, I don't get it. I, Put that thing on a Tuesday and just be normal. At worst, a Sunday. Like, sat, you can't, doing you can't, show on a, doing no a show on a Saturday, it's insane. I was at the pub, mate. I just about caught Ray's show, Ray's performance. I haven't watched Or Kylie's, whoever it was. Yeah, and then after that, I'm over it. Sorry, but I'm over it. I'm not going to go back and rewatch it. It's, it's, it's insane. So yeah, I really, I really, I'm really, really disappointed. And it's not just Vogue, it's independent. Or everyone. BBC. Everyone. Because I was looking and searching up and down, up and down, because I'm seeing the same people on the same pages yeah. as well. Like, give me some, I need to talk about some people. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Can't make it up. Right, let's get into it. Let's go. Let's go first. You go. Okay, so one that I loved mm-hmm. was Charlie XCX. Mm-hmm. She was wearing Marnie. She was mm-hmm. in this gorgeous Marnie dress. 
<laughs> Gotta get your descriptors Gotta out. Gotta get my get my dictionary out my tongue. So the top half is like a corset, but it looks like it's wax. Mm. Like it's transparent, but wax. And it's like half of it's like nude color, half of it's like green. And it kind of comes out in a V kind of thing. I don't know. It, it feels looks very like, like mermaid. Mermaid-y. Yeah. And, then the, and then the bottom of it is like a... It's like a dress and it's got a tail. Is silk satin and it's basically like big chunks of patchwork, but they're all really nice, like pastel colors. You've got like pinks, yellows, and then like bam, like emerald green, but it all comes together. Um, I really loved her hair as well. And she had like a really nice, um, like a shimmery eye makeup as well. The hair was given like mermaid, really cute orangey type. I just... It was great mm-hmm. and I loved it. I loved all the colours and, and I think it really, really suits her as well. Mm-hmm. She's not usually one that draws attention to my eyeballs, but this was this was a look. Not the eyeballs, child. This was a look. <sighs> I'm gonna start with hate. Go. Was Clara Ampho the one that she said that she sends her outfits to her mums and her mum and I hated it. She sent is she the one that said she yeah. sends her outfit to her mum and then her mum will be like, Why are you wearing why are you wearing that? Yeah. I think her mum would definitely ask her why she wore that um look on the red carpet. It's Vivian Westwood dress. Just because it's Vivian Westwood doesn't mean that we need to wear it. Um it also doesn't mean we need to wear it like that. So it's like a green it's a green ill-fitted dress. So the top gives like corset vibes, but it has straps, which just threw me off. And then the skirt area, it's short at the front and very long at the back. <laughs> this is like classic Vivian Westwood, but it feels very like archival from like the 80s. Yeah, but it's, it's giving house a CB. A little bit. It is. Like I could get like, like a house a, of C B yeah. but House of C B would actually make it where the train at the back seamlessly flows. Yeah. Like this is very much it's short in the front and as soon as you get to the side of the leg, it's long. Yeah. There's no it's there's you know what I mean? There's no flow. That's why I feel like it's very like old school. Like that's yeah. what they were doing back then. Um so the dress on its own is for me. I don't like it. But she just made it worse um, by wearing fishnet tights and um, these really high, strappy, shiny black platform heels. They're like patent. It's like the heels are like centrinians. I do you know what I mean when I say that? <laughs> I I didn't like it. I didn't, I, no. I was really upset. And I was going to add her to my, I've got her hated list. I know, but you love her, so you wouldn't. But I love her, so I thought, you know what? The best thing for me to do is just not comment at all. Because <laughs> I love her and I think, you're allowed a few slip ups. You're allowed a few slip ups and that's okay. But you know what it is? <clears throat> Okay, I feel like in life we are all like, listen, I wear some questionable things. I look back, look I feel at me. I feel what the hell? What the hell, man? What the, what the fuck? What are you for? You a fashionista? You went a fashionista? Like, been there, done that. But when we're hosting the Brits and we're standing next to the Maya Jamas. First time hosting the Brits as well. From when you get the contract and you sign the name, you need to start mood boarding. Mm. Exactly. We need like we. This is not the I time. Who I've I've got the name, but I'm just too shy. I can't even be shaming people like Whisper that. It's okay it if you me. want to. Yeah, if you want to go right, and I'll see, find. you go and find the name. But it, Sheldon would be upset. I know. Shout out Sheldon, the creator, doing amazing she, things. What were her other looks? Mm, better. Better. I'm not. I'm not excited over the other looks, no. but I just feel like you're stepping out onto the red carpet. Is a lot, is a lot. That you know that that's how you dress when it's your year eleven prom and you're that rebellious girl that was like always in the back of the class, like lip lip piercing with the hoop. Where does she find a stylist from? Joe. She's signed by Wall Group. 
Anyways, someone that is usually on my hated list but has been promoted Ooh. to my loved list is AJ Adidas. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well deserved. She is in Bulgari and, sorry, let me, I'm just trying Bulgari to... Bulgari uh, jewellery. Thank you. Uh, just get the, uh, sorry, I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared. Right. She's in this black uh, sequin dress mm-hmm. and it's, uh, right. So the middle bit is like a keyhole. keyhole. Thank you. And it's got thin straps that this. go around. You are. and it, <laughs> But it's also like cut out on the side. So it's giving her like, you know, curve. And it's amazing for her figure. Yeah. It looks stunning. Her hair is gorgeous. And I just think, yes, yeah. this is what we want from you. We don't want the ill-fitting outfits. No. We don't want anything wild, crazy. Shout out Thomas George Walburn. Oh, we start- oh yeah, that's his that, stylist. That's yeah, her yeah, stylist. Yeah, 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 yeah. He stays styling her. This, yeah, 10 out of 10. Mwah, mwah, mwah. It's a mono dress. M- loved it. Perfect. Sometimes, you know, people get scared of black, but no, this black looked mm. amazing. Um, this is one of her best. And I love the hair. I feel like it just takes us to like... Because know, that wasn't good. School. What's that one? I like that. You don't like that? No. Okay. So, yeah, that was... She has, she has, you know, she upgraded. She was in the loved. AJ Adudu. Can't even see my teeth. Oh, you can see his my teeth. <laughs> That's it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see his my teeth. While it's in International Women's Day slash month. Yeah. I would like I'd like to see a day coming very soon where in Britain we can have a black female presenter host something by herself without without a white counterpart celebrity big brother's back we've got AJ and that guy that won't shut up and acts like he's got goggly eyes and he's reading the teleprompter plus all the spark notes he added to the teleprompter. What's his name? Will. Oh. We know that guy. We know him. I don't know him. Do I know him? I don't know him. Any from Capital or something? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Because she's good. Yeah. Did you Davina watch- didn't need a counterpart. Do you get... No, because if, if we get into it, then they're going to start saying all we do is talk about race on the podcast. We don't. But, but just... no, that is so true. We had a woman leading and after by herself. Davina, it was another white woman. Yeah, that wouldn't, the one with the black short hair, that yeah. wouldn't help. Oh, she did hold people accountable, actually. She did. Yeah. yeah. Emma, Emma. Emma w- 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 something. something. Yeah. 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 So what's the beef? What, that, what, no, what is it? Why do we need two? Because I feel like I'm being shouted at. Yeah. Through the tea. I just need one person just to do hold my attention. Do you know what attention. it used to be? It used to be Davina McCall, Dermot O'Leary. Right, old school. Dermot would do like BBC after after. Oh, something, like the BTS stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Davina would do the main thing. Sometimes they switch cameras. Yeah. He'd be talking to the people in the yes. crowd. Yes, it's assistant job. It's not. We're not sharing the one role because it's one to, role. It's a lot. You're because you're not even doing a lot there. Hello, welcome to the Big Brother house. Right in the house, like. I didn't even watch the first episode. Yet never am I. I. No, never am I. I'm just getting mad because I saw someone post. I saw someone. I think they said the same thing about even like Clara Ampho doing the Brits. It's like, but why do we need three or four or five presenters? Like one or two. You pick, need your, pick your fighter. One on the main and the other one on the floor, doing the floor. The assistants. Like actually pick your fighter unless we go in. My mum is so concerned about Sharon Osbourne. I haven't she's seen on her. BBC and she, I think she's on those MP. Yeah, so apparently she's, she's lost just... loads of weight. Wait, let me see. And my mum's like, seen how much weight she's lost? I'm like, yeah, she's on those MP. Mum's like, what's that? Well, I was at work, so I didn't answer oh. her. And she's like, oh, it's a diabetic uh, injection. I was like, no, 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 no. It's, it's a new weight <gasps> loss drug. Let me tell you something, yeah? Let me see. For all my little kitty bubs and kitty boops that love all these like drug documentaries about like opioids and about the crack epidemic and all of this stuff and the American pharmaceutical industry. Mm-mm. I am waiting. I'm already got my popcorn ready to put in the microwave for the Ozempic documentary. Yeah. Do you know that they are now, I actually thought it was more like people were just buying it on the black market because they found out that it was um, a weight loss drug. Yeah. No, somebody 
went to a doctor for the regular checkup and was saying, yeah, you know, I'm working on myself, like I'm losing weight, da, da, da. And the doctor said, oh, I've got something that can help with that. And now they're And he was like, it. he was like, what is MPIC? He was like, yeah. Yeah, now they're being paid, bruv. Someone's going No, on. because the pharmaceutical industry in America is a money-making scheme. I remember when I was in New York and I got in a taxi. That was with my New York bay. RIP to that man. And <laughs> there was like, there was like an ad, um, an ad for like medication in the taxi. And he works in the medical, so we had a big conversation. And he's like, yeah, like these pharma people, they have big budgets to take you out and wine and dine you and schmooze you and say, push our ting. So all the Azempic people are probably like, hello, yeah. you're gonna get a commission if you prescribe this. Cause that's what happened with, um, what's the painkiller one that they oh. all went? It's an opioid, but it's called, it has a name. Oh, I know someone's listening, screaming. Someone's screaming. Someone's screaming like, What's a painkiller? Yeah, I do that all the time when I listen opioid to podcasts. Opioid painkiller document. It was, um, oh God, what was it called? This is really going to stress me out. What was it called? Oxy, Oxy, yeah, Oxy, yeah, Oxy, yeah. I was gonna say oxymoron. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, like oh, Oxy Carton. The way they were sending these young, young girls, and also shout out Kelly Osborne. She's seen on a red carpet, and they're like, "What do you think about Ozempic?" She's like, "I think it's brilliant. I think it's great. I think it's you know, if you want to lose weight and you don't want to do a boring way of like working out, why not? People that don't like it are either jealous of you because they can't afford <gasps> it, or." No, she's so toned up. Wasn't she the one that's like, who's going to clean your toilets, Donald Trump, if you build the wall? She's, she's so toned up. but yeah. It's insane. I was watching, I know you don't watch this, one of these Bravo shows, Married to Medicine. And you, do you know about it? Yeah, do I have Phaedra's to? on there. Yeah. So it's like doctors and doctor's wives, right? And there was an episode where it was almost like a semi-ad and one of them was talking to the patients like, yeah, you have Ozempic, like, you know, don't take it when you're pregnant. And I'm just like, this is actually very problematic. Like we truthful. shouldn't be, we shouldn't be advertising a drug that is meant for people with diabetes. First of all, there's a shortage now. They can't actually get access to the drug. Prices have probably gone up. So and also, can, can we all just like engage our brains and just think about this? Let's, let's, let's just, Let's just think about this. Let's go. Right? This drug is meant for people with diabetes. I don't claim to be a scientist and really understand, but I know it's about like the sugar levels and all of these things, right? So this is helping adjust. You as a person that doesn't have diabetes, what business do you have taking a medication? <laughs> like... Because are you not thinking that that might actually impact your, your body exactly. negatively because you are a-okay? Because there's so many mad side effects as it is. You hear that the people are like shit and they can't stop pooing. Yeah. Sorry, trigger warning. <laughs> is that a trigger? I don't know if you're eating. I don't know. <laughs> Happy lunchtime. <laughs> no, but. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Am I, cra am I are we crazy? Because this is how society will gaslight you into thinking you're not normal you're for not, not wanting it. to do something that actually, when. Like, if one plus one is two and two plus two is four, what, what the fuck, fuck is, is this? this? And listen, <laughs> I'm gonna put my hand up and I'm gonna be, sh this is mad trigger warning eating disorders. So like, just skip this bit. I'm all, how do I, I'm all for, no, okay, wait. <laughs> Where are you all for? I'm all for certain methods of unhealthy weight loss. Yeah, fine, yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna sit here and say that I'm not, cause mm. I am. You wanna starve yourself and eat 500 calories a day, baby, I'm with you. I'll endorse it, right? Like, I'm not gonna sit here on my high horse and be like, oh, no, 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 no. But there are levels to this and there are boundaries. And that is one thing I cannot stand by. Like, I will not sit here and say, okay, I did at one point was like, oh, actually, maybe that might be a good thing. But this was, this was pre-knowing that it was a diabetes <laughs> drug. <laughs> You were like, woo, I was there, who? I was like, I was there, who? I was like, someone, I almost was able to get it, you know, oh through a friend, through a friend from so Dubai. Scary. But I didn't. And then I actually did do, do my research and realized what it was. And I was like, actually, this is too scary for me. Just do the 500 calories a day. Just do, oh, I'm just eating green lettuce all day, every day. Like, I also don't want to sound um, 
if that's what you want to do, obviously. I don't want to sound like we're speaking from a privileged place because there may be some people that are, um, and I use quotations, like yeah. diagnosed, like overweight. Yes. And it's not so easy just to say like, do the steps. Do and like, yeah, do, yeah, yeah. and I do, I do understand, I completely understand oh, that. But I also just think, I don't think it's that deep to inject yourself with something that is not natural, not knowing the long-term impacts that can have on your body because this is not this drug is tried and tested for people with diabetes it's not tried and tested for people that don't have diabetes they just I'm suddenly so sorry. found out that it can just help you lose, like one of the side effects you end up losing weight if you don't have diabetes that and then documentary suddenly it was a weight loss gonna fucking give oh, it mate. a fucking grammy oscar, oscar give, let us sit on the chairs when they do the interviews <laughs> i want to talk about Be it like, we were talking on but our podcast <laughs> back in the day when we were apple spotlight do you pretty do you remember that oh my god that was like so i don't know you see by this point we'll be living in america and we'll have american accents yeah obviously <laughs> duh. duh right okay um oh quick cut is time always goes i know so time always goes fun. let's go quickly right so quickly while we were talking about um clara just have to shout out maya i didn't actually look at all of her looks but her main red carpet look she ate it's a custom in your favorite designer harris <laughs> reed Oh, oh, can I you describe it? Because you're really good at this. Reed. It's, it's a fishtail. It's a strapless. It's velvet. Yeah, velvet. It's got little horns here. Sorry, I'm doing the movement. So yeah. if you're on YouTube, you can see it. It's not horns, but little pointy bits. Pointy it? bit on the corset bit. On it flicks bit. All, all the way, way up. up. Yeah. The center is mesh. Mesh. Bone I'm doing with, this. I'm yeah. doing this from memoir. The center is mesh with boning. boning. Black boning. And then the suede comes back and it goes Worth down. Velvet. The, sorry, the velvet and fish it's a tail. huge fish tail. It's giving. Little mermaid. Have you seen the f- no? Mm. My fair lady. I've never seen my fair lady. Oh, darling. it's giving my fair lady. What's that woman's Audrey Hepburn? Audrey. It's giving Audrey Hepburn. My fair lady. I was the plane in Spain. Says so mainly in the plane. You know when she goes to the mm. party at the end and she's like a painting. Like my man stun her up and she's in her fit. That yeah. is what it is giving. It's beautiful. Harris Reed. You know, you're They're my gorgeous. angel. What a gorgeous, and she's wearing Chopard jewelry. I would have liked a necklace. Yeah, I don't know, maybe something a, thin, a bit dainty, and like a nice little yeah, dainty something. Yeah, I just feel like there's something a little bit missing. Yeah, um, but I'm not her stylist. It's okay. I'm not in her employment. But yeah, I mean, Maya always Ria eats each and every time. So no notes. Do you know who didn't eat? Oh God, tell me, Kylie Minogue. What the hell was that? No, but what? No, she didn't eat, but every publication wanted to put her on the best dress this list. Is, this oh was my pissing God. me off. By the way, this is the best dress list. Is Kylie Minogue the only person that went to the Brits? Because why is she on every page? I know she's trying to push whatever she's pushing at the moment. <laughs> she's everywhere, but this is not it. What? I can't even no! explain this. It's, I didn't like it. What the hell? I the tights. Like the shoe is honestly Prinny's worst nightmare. <laughs> If you don't know, Prinny hates a black shoe. The black court <laughs> black heel. black court heel. And it's got like, okay, I'm just going to start from the bottom up. It's a black court heel suede. And then basically it's got like a chain around the ankle. It's like an and anklet. A diamante strap. It's like a diamante strap, but it looks a bit like, a, anyways, I don't know what it is. And then the dress is like a strapless suede. And then it's like got trees hanging off it. It's the only way I it's can It's just talk like, about um, wow, wow, wow. It. Ruffle, ruffle, ruffle. Ruffle, Think ruffle. Salsa. But it's also cutouts on the sides yeah it's like going so it's like ruffle like ruffle v loop. in the front ruffle ruffle v in the back it's scary it's terrible you're kylie minogue and, and it's like and it's it's not it basically and that's all i just yeah i just felt like they're trying to make kylie minogue fetch and it's not it's not fetch kylie minogue your fetch as it is you yeah. don't need to be doing all of this like you're just spinning around we have moved out your way like we, like, like we're done you like you, we get it but this and 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 this is why i'm upset with the british media because this can't be what you're pushing no. and her do you know what her performance outfit was stunning she had these thigh high boots that came all the way basically up to her hip with this white dress it looked stunning it was beautiful she was hopping and skipping and running up and down and this is what she wore to the red carpet i no. like that all right um we got to do two, one each one more hit one more miss very quick fire okay go you go 
Oh. Oh, oh. And then we'll post the rest on IG. Fine. Ellie Golding, Alberta Ferrati and Messica. Is that a hit? Hit. (laughs) Can you breathe? No. What's wrong with you? <laughs> that is a stunning dress. Yeah, no, yeah. She looked Gorge. unreal. It's a satin dress. It's this kind of a uh, goldy peachy color. One shoulder got a bit of ruching on the side. Oh wait, her stomach's out. Bra is a cutout. Didn't even notice. Titty's hanging good, and she's wearing this white open toe uh, platform silk, not white silver open toe platform with an anklet kind of vibe again. You listen, I'm not really a platform galley like that. Mm. But this is giving bad B. It's given. It is. And I would never, never expired it from her. But this is, yeah, chef's kiss. Right, over to you. Absolutely love. Oh, it's really, it's a bit of a difficult one. Um, But I think I'm going to go with Miss Griff. Oh, yeah. Why does every year like that? You oh, see what she wore? Yeah. You don't like it? I wasn't the biggest fan. You're not the biggest fan? Well, you know what? I think that it's nice on her. You know? Yeah. Yeah? So she's in Dreaming Eli, um, and she's also got Swarovski jewellery. It's really hard to describe the dress, but just think... (laughs) Come on, do it. It's not even... What is it? It's like a dress. It's It's like a deconstructed dress... That also has a top, a sequin top. It's very layered. It's very flowy. It's very Dreaming Eli, to be fair. It's that kind of like whimsical feel, which I feel goes with her aesthetic. I think for me, it's just the styling, the makeup, the hair that just brings it all together. Yeah. Um, I can't even describe it. It's got... I can't. I'm going to put this picture on Instagram. Okay. And I'm going to say my miss is... Oh, my other miss. I didn't like Ray's look. I was never. And I know I what did she's have doing. Her in love, but I know what boring? she's doing with the whole like jazz. Yeah, that you know, era and stuff. But I'm tired of it. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a classic black off the shoulder Fendi couture gown. For someone that sparkles. was going off to win seven Brits and you smashed the record. No, I think for me, it's a combination of the dress, the hair, the makeup. It's yeah. all a lot. Mm. It's too dated yeah. for me. That's You're entitled to your opinion, your podcast. Me. Sorry, my miss is Olivia Dean in a Saint Laurent purple dress. I just think the shape is just yeah. not it. I don't really like the colour either. Hair and makeup is absolutely gorgeous. She's a gorgeous girly. This just wasn't... Mm. I have nothing else to say. We are going to post everything on the IG story. You can have your say. What was a hit? What was a miss during the conversation? Who did we not talk about? Who do you agree with us? Well, who do you? Sorry, we need to not drink on this podcast ever again. I feel what do you agree? bloody out what of do it. You, what do you agree? What do you know anyway? What Ciao. do you agree? What do you? Listen, yes. This, <laughs> <laughs> you see, this is why when we became professionals, we said you gotta we, let we, it. We got rid of the drink yeah. for a reason. Yeah. Because the pods was just going on mad. <laughs> <laughs> and we said we need to fix it. It was a good shot. time. If you're a new listener, that means there is a lot of tea and juice in the archives. There's a lot for you. This is what's this episode 215? I have wow. a whale of a time. Um, it's been real. I love it here. Thank you so much for listening. If you're a new listener, we really hope you enjoyed your first session with Ooh. us. We can't wait to see you again next week. Same time, same place. Every Thursday on Apple Podcast, you can catch your girlies. Yeah. Oh, don't forget to rate and review. Love you. Bye. Bye.